the Digital Health Live Studio, sponsored by United Healthcare. I am Ligia Ricciardi, joining you from CES 2018, and we are speaking today with Dr. Nate Watson, who's from the University of Washington. He's a professor of neurology and the former president of the American Academy of Sleep Medicine. So you're a sleep expert. Welcome. I am, yes. It's good to be here. So um, thrilling to have you here at CES. Um, what brought you to CES specifically? Well, I'm in the uh, scientific advisory board of uh, Sleep Score Labs. Okay. So uh, I'm here in support of that effort. And uh, we just had a really great forum where we talked about sleep health. Yeah. Um, you know, my passion is has been for many years trying to get people to prioritize sleep in their lives and sure. understand what sleep can do for them. Um, sleep deprivation is a public health epidemic in the country and really it's just a matter of choice. So I, I want people to you know, prioritize their sleep, maximize their sleep, and see how great they feel when they do that. So I have a question for you, a yeah. bit of a personal question. I have two kids and uh, they go to school. I try to get them to bed early. They can't get to sleep super early and I've got to wake them up really early to get to school. I mean, is that, a, it seems to be a problem. It's not like I can shift their sleep time. Are other people having this problem? Is there an issue with kids and yes. start times for activities? Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's really a hot button issue right now is yeah. school start time. So yeah. um, we know that as uh, children move through adolescence, they get a, a delayed sleep phase. So they are desirous of a later bedtime and a later wake time. We've absolutely I mean, we, seen that. <laughs> we've, yes. we've felt it when we were that age. Yep. We see it in the, the, the kids that are that age. And, uh, the, but the problem is, is that uh, middle and high school start times are, are so early yeah. that it, it forces these kids that can't really get to sleep until after 11 sure. to have to wake up at you know, six in the morning yeah. in order to make it to school on time. So really you have this uh, society that's building in sleep deprivation for our youth and it's a huge problem. And then we problem. get used to it, right? And then as adults, we're already sort of used to being sleep deprived. Yeah. Can I ask you about one more thing real quick? Yeah. Um, lucid dreaming. Yes. I've heard about it. Sounds fascinating. Yeah. Real quick, what is it? So lucid dreaming is basically the ability to uh, know that you're dreaming within your dream. So to, so to become conscious yep. in your dream. And so the moment that, that that happens, the moment you have that realization, then you can do whatever you want in your dream. And so it's, it's very exciting and a lot of fun. And there are ways that you can teach yourself to do that. Um, the first thing you would do would be to keep a sleep diary for a couple of months and then go through it and see what are the common themes. Uh -huh. And those would be what are your dream signs. And so when you see those in your dream, it might make you question yourself, am I dreaming right now? Got and if it. you ask yourself that question and you realize that you are, then you're lucid at that point. Excellent. Yeah. That is fascinating. Yeah, um, I am definitely going to look into doing more of that because it's I have experienced it a couple times and it's amazing. Yeah. So um, thank you so much, Dr. Nate, for joining us. My pleasure. Once again, you are here at the Digital Health Live Studio, which is presented by United Healthcare. I'm Ligia Ricciardi, and you are at CES 2018. Thank you.